Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to see problem number six, zigzag conversion. So here we are given a string and number of rows and we need to print this string based on the number of rows in a zigzag pattern. So we are going to see what is that pattern and the logic behind this problem. And now let's dive into the solution. So they are given a zigzag pattern, right? So what is a zigzag pattern? So usually a zigzag will be looking like this, right? So this tells that we need to move front and we need to return back and again we need to move front, right? So, so on. So here we are limited with rows. So this row tells at what extent I need to go back and return, okay? So in this way we need to print our strings. So I will show you guys the logic behind this. So initially assume number of rows as like a bucket. Okay. Here we are given three as number of rows, right? So assume we need three buckets in order to arrange our strings. Okay. So what I will do is we saw the zigzag is like we need to go one end and we need to return back to the same end. And again, we need to move back to the end okay so this goes on till my end of strings okay still i put all my characters in the string so i will put each and every character for example here we have a string paypal is hiring right so first i will pick the first character p i will put it here then i will move my index then i'll pick a i will put it here then i will again move to y right so i will put y here and now when i reach the end bucket okay i will return back i will move my index backwards now i will pick p this one and put it here i will move my index back now I'll pick A. I will put A here. Now I will reach the first bucket. Now I need to move front again. Okay. Assume this is my index. My index is right now here. Okay. Now I need to move here. Now I will pick character L and put it here. Now I again move front. Now I pick I. I put it here. Now I reached end of the bucket again. Now I need to move back my pointer backwards. Okay. Now I pick yes. Then put it yes here. Now I pick H. I put it here. I reached the front bucket, the first bucket. Now again I have to move my pointer here. Okay. Now I will pick my I now then I will put it I here then again I will pick R I will put R here then I reached my pointer to the end of my bucket the end bucket then I will pick I again and put my I again in this bucket and then I pick N I will put N here I reach the front bucket now I will move again to the front I will put G in the second bucket. Okay. So now we will see how I will be moving this index, the pointer, the bucket pointer front and back. And we need two things, guys. We need an index. Index is nothing but the bucket pointer. Okay. Then I need to have a step pointer or a move pointer which tells me whether I need to move front or whether I need to move my index the bucket pointer backwards okay so now again I will explain this example with index and step pointer how this is going to work okay so here we have the three buckets which starts from 0 to 2 so why 2 because in my code it's going to be n minus 1 right from 0 to n minus 1 so just maintaining that index 
so initially my index will be zero my, and my step will be one so i will always be ready to move front one step ahead okay so my index will be pointing here then pick the first character that is p i will put it in the first bucket now i need to move front so to move front i'm going to add my step to index so if i add these now my i need to update my index variable okay if i add step and index now it's going my index will change to one right so i need to move my index to here to the second one second bucket now i will pick the next character that is a i will put a here and so so on so now it will be two if i add i will put y in my second bucket then when I reach my end bucket, I will reset my step position to minus one. Okay. Now if I add, now I will add my index and step, right? When I add index and step now, my index is going to reduce to one. So my index will be here now. Then I will pick the next character that is P. I will put P here then again until my index is equal to zero i will keep my step as minus one only i will keep on decreasing my index then i will move my index here i will put a here then if i when i reach back to my index zero the first bucket i will reset my step to one again and here it will be zero okay when index pointing to zero i will be resetting my step to one so again i will pick l now i will put l here and i will put i now in the next bucket then since i reached my end bucket i will reset my in step to minus one then i'm going to add like that and it's going to start decreasing i will be putting my yes here again h here again i r and i n and g then at the end i'm going to concatenate all of these buckets okay so in this case it will be p a h n and the next bucket and y i r okay this will be my output so initially i will create these empty buckets these empty buckets will be empty strings so i will be creating based on the number of rows that has been given in the problem okay now we will see the code okay so before coding if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel Please like and subscribe. This is going to motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos. So initially, I'm going to have some base conditions. Okay. If my number of rows is equal to one or if my number of rows is greater than or equal to my length of the strings then i'm going to just return the string okay so here i'm going to create the bucket that i said the list of strings and these list of strings will be based on the number of rows the buckets okay just like the buckets now i'm going to have index is going to point to zero at the start and step ahead is going to be one so i need to move front at the start okay then i'm going to write a for loop in order to pick my characters from the string so initially this will be used to add it to my bucket okay then I'm also going to write an if statement. If my index is zero, 
if I reach to my front bucket, I need to reset my step to 1. Else, my index is equal to the number of rows, the n minus 1. If this is nothing but the end bucket. If I reached my end bucket, then I need to start decreasing, right? I need to set the step to minus 1. So this is going to make my index pointer to decrease. So setting step to minus 1 is going to decrease my index pointer. Okay. So I am going to add my step so that it goes front and back okay based on the situations so at the end i'm going to return my characters that i have concatenated in the bucket i'm going to join them based on the order okay i think it's fine let's run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient and the time complexity for this particular problem is order of n and the space is also order of n as well thank you guys for watching this video i will see you guys in the next one have a nice day guys